One other thing I want to bring up here before we finish talking about live booleans and union meshes, you can go to the live boolean master here and you're going to see there's a lot of really cool options in here. In fact, let's go ahead and talk about this. We're going to go to Z plugin, I'm going to drag this over to this docked area over here. You can just double click this divider to open that up and then again grab this little white dot here and just drag it over to the left. Now to talk about this a little bit more, we're going to hit the comma key. We're going to go into the project menu. We're going to go into booleans and let's go ahead and start with this computer fan case. And again, I'm just going to mention this one more time. If you're new to the concept of live booleans, you can go to my YouTube channel. Go to Zebras 4R8, what's new? And you can, uh, this will start out with a gizmo and then down in here you can see there's a bunch of live boolean meshes that'll go over the intricacies of what makes up the live boolean process. Let's go ahead and turn off polyframe here. And you're gonna see we don't even have to go into our subtool menu under Boolean here. All of that Boolean operation is also over here in the Make Boolean Mesh and Dynamic Subdivision, as well as you can also tell it to do a single start group, and you can tell it to be non-destructive, or if you turn that off, it'll be destructive. What non-destructive means is if we say we're doing a single start group, it'll look at the single start group up here, and if we turn on auto collapse, you're gonna see we have one start group here, one start group here, and these are both gonna make different objects here. So if I turn off the eyeball for that start group, you're gonna see the resulting live Boolean. If we turn live Boolean off, these are the primitive objects that are making up this live Boolean operation. If we turn live Boolean on, this is gonna be the resulting mesh. So with this start group selected, I can tell it do a single start group, non-destructive. I can also tell it to DynaMesh the resulting mesh afterwards if I want to, and what resolution I want that DynaMesh to be. And then of course you can store your settings as defaults. So for right now, I'm just gonna say single start group, non-destructive. I'm gonna hit make Boolean mesh. We also have dynamic subdivision turned on. So if you did have dynamic subdivision turned on in your geometry, which we've talked about before in the series, right here, it'll go ahead and smooth or give you your dynamic preview mesh before it runs the Boolean operation. So now that we've done that, let's turn off auto collapse. And you're gonna see what it's gonna do is it's gone ahead and done my Boolean operation and replaced that start group with this new mesh. And I still have my other start group here untouched, ununion meshed. Now, when it ha because I had non-destructive on, if I go back to this subtool right here in my tool palette, you're going to see I still have my original mesh sitting here. I didn't delete any of it. However, if we go back to this one, let's go ahead and do delete all. And then we'll go ahead and go back to this original object here. I have this original start group selected. We're going to turn off non-destructive. We'll go ahead and make a Boolean mesh. And now this one, I'm not going to be able to go back to my original mesh here. It was destructive, so I can't go back and change my original Boolean primitives. This is just one object here, and then I have my other star group sitting here ready to be live Boolean as well. So pick whatever option works for you, uh, but live Boolean master is definitely a Z plugin you want to install. If there's, uh, speaking of other Z plugins, if there's other plugins you want to download, just Google Pixelogic Downloads. That'll go to their download center. Go here to ZBrush plugins. And if you scroll down, all of these top ones should come with ZBrush installed by default. And then down here, these are extra plugins that you can download and install.